guys, it's Brayden and today I will be doing a spoiler for a book review of Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. I really, really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because it was just so fantastic and wonderful. I had such a great time reading it. It was an emotional roller coaster, literally. I haven't cried this much from a book in a long time. Like, it felt like every 20 or so pages, less than that sometimes, I was just crying. Like, I could not stop crying. Like, I didn't realize I was gonna enjoy this book as much as I did. I cannot wait for the next book that comes out next year. Like, I was not even 100 pages into this book and I went and checked to see if there was going to be more books after this one. I just cut my, my chin out. <laughs> this book was just so interesting. The concept of the world, like it could happen and it's creepy. It's a dystopian and to me it felt like our modern world, like where we're at now, but with a completely different government. The government basically is called the Flawed Court. It's the title's named Flawed, which also the cover's all like clear. So you open it up, it's like that. It's, it's very interesting. <laughs> Like, I did not know the book was gonna be this way, but yes. The flawed court is run by this judge, Judge Creven, who is actually the main character's boyfriend's dad, who she has what she thinks is a very nice relationship. The flawed court, if you make a mistake, like the simplest, smallest mistake, you are to be branded flawed. And you're not just called flawed. You will be burnt in with an F. My family is so loud. You will be burnt. Oh my god. Why are they so loud? You will be burnt in with an F in one of five places. It could be your tongue. It could be your chest. It could be your hand, which I have my Wonder Rule tattoo on my hand because, whoa. Yeah, and I kind of messed up. Shut up! My sister will stop talking. I told you I was filming. Daddy was talking to me, and apparently our family owns a farm. Not ours, but like some of our relatives, because he's wearing a hat that says Lambeth Farms. What? I don't know. Bye. Okay, let's continue. So you will be burned in with the F symbol in one of five places, and you will be forever marked as flawed. In this world, they believe that you're basically born perfect. You are perfect. And if you make the simplest mistake, you are marked as a person that is called the flawed. There's a group of people called the flawed, and they have so many rules, a specific curfew. If you miss that, your family is hurt. They have a specific diet of anything that is not luxuries. You can have one luxury a week, so cupcake, you can have a small little cupcake a week if that's what you're wanting. This is something that affects them for their entire lives. There is also a prison, like you can go to prison. That's for the more serious crimes, but a lot of people believe that people that are branded flawed have the worst off deal because they have to deal with this forever. People always looking at them in disgust, acting like they're invisible and mistreating them. And people in prison and just go for how many years and then they get to leave most of the time. There's also a whole thing, if you aid a flawed person, if you help them, if they're about to die and you help them, you will go to prison because that's just how screwed up this system is. I received this book for free from the booktube tours run by Loving Dumb Books. I'm so happy I did. I originally only wanted this because uh, Ce Cecilia Ahern has a movie out with uh, the guy that plays Vinnick O'Dare, Sam Claflin, in it. Like, she knows him. She has to know him. So I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is her first young adult book and literally it just moved me and I love the main character so much. So much character development that I cannot even believe. If you look back at the first chapter and the last chapter, it's like, is this even the same person? It, it's amazing and I'm not even joking. This is really good. I love this book. Where'd my phone go? So this book follows a main character named Celestine, Celestine North. I honestly don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna Google that right now. Uh, she's a rule follower. She always has been. She's dating the judge's son and she is very happy with her life. You know, everything's working well, perfect grades until one day she finds herself in a situation where she may or may not be branded flawed. There's actually a giveaway to win a copy of Flawed and there will be a link down below for that. I don't know anything about it but there is a giveaways though. I would definitely enter that because this is really really good. I read it extremely quickly. I never wanted to put it down. It's just <laughs> it hurt. 
it, I was emotional. If you're interested in this book in any way, there's going to be a bunch of links down below to the author's social medias and also where you can get the book because get the book, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Honestly, I haven't read a dystopian in a long time because I was kind of burnt out, but this was really good dystopian. I felt like it was just different for some reason. Maybe it's because I haven't read one in forever, but I don't know. I think just the whole system was really, really interesting and I just did not know how the main character was going to get out of it because there was so much impossibleness that I don't know how she, I don't know. Since I'm not sure how to pronounce the main character's name, I'm just going to say Celestine because like the whole time that was how I was pronouncing it well thinking of it in my head Celestine I don't know how to say it if I say it wrong don't judge me okay I didn't feel like looking up the pronunciation never mind I do feel like looking up the pronunciation so that's what I'm doing now let's figure this out together Celestine so it's official it's Celestine it's really hard to say out loud for some reason I really love the main character when I first started reading it I was like, do I like this main character? I kind of wanted the narrator to like switch to her sister because I was really liking her sister. But oh, just over time, I, I completely fall in love with her and her strength. She has some, so much strength. And this book is just so, so unfortunate what happens to her, you know? Oh, oh. If you're looking for a painful book, here. <laughs> I just haven't felt so moved by a book in so long. Like in the acknowledgments, yeah, I read the acknowledgments sometimes, guys. The author writes what she hopes the book portrays, and I think it definitely does. If there's one message that I hope this book portrays, it's this. None of us are perfect, but none of us are perfect. Let us not pretend that we are. Let us not be afraid that we're not. Let us not label others and pretend we are not. Dog. Let us not label others and pretend we are not the same. Let us all know that to be human is to be flawed and let us learn from every mistake made so we don't make them again. That completely explains this book. I just found it so moving. The whole main idea of this book, the theme. So many people strive to be perfect and it just can't happen and nobody's perfect we all have our flaws and some people think that flaws are a bad thing but from this book it just keeps telling you that flaws are what make you stronger what make you smarter than everybody else around you all these other people are trying so hard to be perfect so they don't become flawed and they become idiots really they just do I idiotic people Ugh. those people oh i loved seeing how celestine was able to change some of this how she was able to put into questioning of the whole system i i loved that i loved seeing sparks of hope through all the absolutely terrible things that happened to this main character i love her family her parents oh i love her parents and some people that she meets along the way this dude this dude i kind of want to add that there is not really a perfect romance in this the main character starts off with a boyfriend the judge's son and it's not candy and rainbows things happen you know terrible terrible things happen i just want more people to read this so i can discuss it because it's just it's beautiful ashes shut up <laughs> just pick this up like seriously i want to know if anybody feels the feels with me i guess i'm just gonna go stock goodreads and go about with the feelings i think that's all that i'm gonna say for this book probably forgot everything oh i just popped my thumb thank you guys for watching this video like it comment down below have a good day and goodbye go read this book Shut up! Hey guys! It's blah blah! Buju Buddha! Hey! That was my sister. I cannot film with you standing over there! What are you doing? Okay then. I received this book for free for. Oh, my family never stops talking. I received this book for free for. From this book, it really just makes you make sure that from this book, it just keeps telling you that they're what you make. How she was able, how she was able. Oh my god, everybody's interrupting me. 